50 years after Winston Churchill's funeral, the day of commemorations began with this simple ceremony by Tower Bridge. A wreath carried to the vessel that once bore Churchill on his final journey. The Haven Gore's voyage down the Thames bore the coffin of a man who had helped repel tyranny. The age-defining image of lowering crane jibs became a metaphor for the country's heads tilting in grief. The wharf cranes bow in salute. Echoing to the sound of these solemn funeral marches, one after the other. Winston Churchill had helped set the course of British history, and on this day 50 years ago, a nation came to pay its respects. He may have been 90, but his death was a jolt, his funeral an historic punctuation mark. As wartime leader, he ensured the country's darkest hour didn't become its day of defeat. No wonder the many came to say goodbye. It was a wonderful, wonderful send-off for him, really, and I think we were all extremely proud. Of course we were sad, and of course we had our memories. And then we were able to bury him privately at Bladen at the end of the day. One million mourners stood, 25 million television viewers watched, half the population 